Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Putri Duwahini. I want to ex- explain about how to live to 100. Next slide, next slide, please. Okay. Gordon was born in Bangalore, India, growing up in an army family. He and his two older sisters become used to moving around. It's vital to adapt, not try to resist change, he explains. I've always been anxious to do things to do things that are new. At British Birding School, Gordon play Roger, Athletics, Hockey and Squeeze and he was and he was still playing tennis until he was eighteen. He only passed at cigarettes cigarettes auxionally. As a youngster As a youngster and never drank much, Longoviti seems to be in his gains. My father died in his mid-70s and my mother was 92. He remembers. My grandparents for those days of his career, he says, I've been ex- extremely lucky except during the war to do things that have interested me deeply. He became a major a mayor by the age of 26 and recalls your post somewhere you don't know a soul and you have to get on with it. Good pressure spurs you on. Gordon left the army in 1950 and joined MI5 the same year. In the early days of the Cold War, Garden retired in 1976. He plans to celebrate his birthday surrounded by family, including 12 grandchildren and 9 great-grandchildren. I'm lucky to still be here. My family all tell me to keep going. Next slide, please. Relate this article to the present life. The article of Garden Rooms, Life That Lived Through at the Last 100 Years, as my grandmother lived to about 90, no. But when, is, but when it comes to, li- to life, no is so far away, like Garden's life story when he was a young man who had not used cigarettes and drunk alcohol that could damage the fleas. It is no wonder that Garden that Garden lived so long in good health. It it is not surprise that today that today there are young people who do not smoke and drink unless children are still under adult supervision. So it is so it is no surprise that many people today have died at 60 until 70 years of age. When Garden was a young man in the sport that left his body until he was 100 years old with nothing but old bone, this is for some people that today. There may be few who still like to exercise, but few and far too few to exercise. So it is no wonder that people today are susceptible to aging because of the persistent bad habits maintained and shared in life. Once again, don't forget to stay positive and do your best to keep going. Next slide, please. Okay. My own article, I find it very inspiring, inspiring to people today. Especially young people, as Garden was an example of one who had a mind for his own health until his age. Just as Garden did not touch cigarettes and booze, no, he can li- he can live healthy to old age and can live up to 100 years of age with a healthy body for the elderly. 
to avoid unnecessary smoking and heavy and heavy drinking so that we will live in good health and vigor until we are older. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Okay, question and answer session. Who's first? Anissa, please. Okay, Anissa. Okay, so in your presentation, Gordon quote, uh, people who get involved are going to enjoy life more than someone who spends all their time watching TV. Uh, did Gordon explain why those who only watch TV do not enjoy their own lives? Is there any explanation to it? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Anissa. Gordon does not ex ex explain more about his quote, but I tired. I tried to study the quote. Gordon was right in this word. If people want, want something, they should try and get directly involved in what they want. Because if we are lazy about the, doing something like watching TV, then, we, then what we hope to save will remain unrealized. We will become lazy, lose energy, lose health, and also hurt ourselves. Selves by just sitting around, watching TV, and doing nothing to enjoy it. It is enough, Anissa? Okay, thank you. Next selfie, question. please. Okay, selfie. Selfie, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, Garden Browns once said to live for 100 years. You need to stay positive and do your best to keep going. Uh, my question is, could you uh, suggest uh, me some advice how to stay positive? That's all. Okay, thank you, Sophie. To always have a positive aura, you must clear your mind of everything that makes you do unimportant things. You should adorn your face with a smile so that your so that your days are always happy and never think of the problems that are building on you. It is enough, Sylvie. Yes, thank you. Okay, last question. Okay, can I? Okay, Dave. Yeah. Okay, so my question is, in this article, Gordon has said that he has anxious. So my question is, how do you dealing from anxiety? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Halimatu Sadia. Okay. Uh, how do you dealing from anxiety? Uh, first, do what you like. One of the best ways to relieve anxiety and depression is by doing what you enjoy, watching movies, going to the beach, singing, or anything you like. And while you may not always be able to force yourself to do what you love, try to encourage yourself to be active, at least not that you had. And think positive. One thing that can worsen your anxiety and depression is negative stuff about yourself or your environment. One way to manage anxiety and depression, therefore, is to, th to think positively. It is enough, Halimatu Sadia. It is yes, enough. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you, Halimatu Sadia. Okay, thank you for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.